England held a two-point advantage going into the afternoon singles and the front two pairings looked in formidable form. Plant and Shoeb traded blows over the front nine. And Bradley Moore continued his good form, three up after eight over Pinot. Behind them, however, Jamie Bauer was struggling, six down, after this concession from the trees on eight. The story of the front nine was the extraordinary performance of Ashton Turner, who won eight consecutive holes to lead by eight at the turn. He could have sealed an emphatic nine and eight victory, but turned camera shy and lipped out on nine. He didn't have to wait long, however, eventually winning seven and six, while Vare put Bauer out of his misery seven and five. At the bottom of the draw, it was all very tight. Scott Gregory going toe to toe with Kasud and level at the turn. Back at the top of the draw and the titanic struggle between Plant and Shoeb continued. Plant squared the match on 17 to take it to the final hole, but even then the players could not be separated. Moore and Pinou played to 18 with the same result, but the crucial action was happening further back, where England now needed a point and a half from the final four ties. Josh Hilliard conceded on 17 to give the French another point. And Paul Kinnear and James Walker both reached Dormy 2, but neither could convert the chance on 17 to win the match. Although both would go on to win their matches, it was away from all the noise and bustle that Scott Gregory quietly strung together birdies on 13, 14 and 15 to seal the match for England. He completed his 3-1 victory over Kusud on 17 and was rewarded with a moment to savour on his first cap for England. Would you be pleased to know that uh, the reaching Dormy 3 on 15 was actually the half point England needed to push them over the line? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I'm, yeah, I'm delighted with that. That's, that puts a sweet taste on my first England cap. So, yeah, I'm just a bit. So England win 14-10, but both teams will leave Formby with plenty to remember.